Hello everyone, CBSE class 10 math video solution to the sample question paper given by the board for the board examination to be conducted in 2021. It's a basic version of the paper. We are looking at a three mark question, an easy question. It's a word problem from the chapter, a pair of linear equations and two variables. What we're going to do is we're going to decode the information given in this passage and then we're going to frame linear equations. We'll actually be getting a pair of linear equations. We'll solve that and the answer to the variables that we'll assign is going to be the answer to the question. Let's get started. Meena went to a bank to withdraw 2000 rupees. She asked the cashier to give her 50 rupee and 100 rupee notes only. Meena got a total of 25 notes in all. Find how many of the notes were 50 rupees and how many of these notes were 100 rupees. That's what we have to find out. Step one, as I mentioned, let's assign variables. I'm going to assign two variables. I'm going to assign a variable for the number of 50 rupee notes that she's got and another variable for the number of 100 rupee notes that she's got. Let's say the number of 50 rupee notes that she has got is equal to x and the number of 100 rupee notes that she got is equal to y. The total number of notes that she received, right, is equal to 25. Let's frame an equation for that first piece of information. She got 25 notes in all. The number of 50 rupee notes plus the number of 100 rupee notes is equal to 25. Number of 50 rupee notes is x. Number of 100 rupee notes is y. So x plus y is equal to 25. This is equation 1 for us. The second equation obviously comes from the value of money that she withdrew. She took a total of 2000 rupees in the form of 50 and 100 rupee notes. So 50 rupees, if she got one 50 rupee note, then the value will be 50 rupees. If she got two notes, it's going to be two times 50. If she got 10 notes, it's going to be 10 times 50. She's got x 50 rupee notes. So the value of money from all of those x 50 rupee notes is going to be equal to 50 x. If she got only one 100 rupee note, then the value will be 100 rupees. If she got 5 of those, the value will be 5 times 100. If she got 7 of those, the value will be 7 times 100. She has got y 100 rupee notes. So the value of all of those 100 rupee notes is going to be equal to 100 times y. So the value of 50 rupee notes that she has got is 50x. The value of the 100 rupee notes that she has got is equal to 100y. The sum total of the value that she got is the value that she wanted to withdraw, which is equal to 2000. Let's call this as equation 2. Let's take a look at these two equations an equation in two variables, another equation in the same two variables. So, we are talking about a pair of linear equations in two variables. We will solve these two equations to find the answer. How are we going to go about it? We are going to be using the elimination method. So, let us eliminate one of the variables from these two equations. To do that, we see a 50x plus 100y is equal to 2000. We see an x plus y is equal to 25. I am going to multiply the first equation with a 50. So, what we will get is 50x plus 50y this is equal to 50 times 25, which is equal to 1250. Let me call this equation as equation 3. So, I am going to subtract equation 3 from equation 2. Let us do that in this slide. Right? I am going to subtract equation 3 from equation 2. Equation 2 is 50x plus 100y is equal to 2000. Equation 3 is 50x plus 50y is equal to 1250. So, when I subtract equation 3 from equation 2, 50x and 50x gets cancelled. 100y minus 50y is a 50y. This is equal to 750. Translating to y is equal to 750 divided by 50, which is equal to 15. Num what is y? y is a number of 100 rupee notes. That is equal to 15. Plug in the value of y in equation number 1. What is equation 1? Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 25. Substitute y as a 15, x plus 15 is equal to 25 or x is equal to 10. So, she has got 10 50 rupee notes adding up to 500 rupees and 1500 rupee notes adding up to 1500 rupees. So, some total of money that she got is equal to 2000 rupees, right? A very straightforward question. The idea is your ability to frame those two equations. The moment you got those equations in place, solving them is very, very easy, right? A easy three mark question, which you should definitely crack it in the examination. Best wishes for your 10th standard board examinations. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up at online.maxitude.com to get started with CBC class 10 math online tuitions. It takes all of five minutes and less than three steps to get started. And second thing, I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.